Suppose this is a fiber composite material, okay? The fibers are aligned like this in this direction and the matrix has surrounded the fibers. Two important questions arise here about the Young modulus of composite material. First, what is the Young modulus of this composite? Is it equal with the Young modulus of fiber or matrix or maybe the average value? And the second question is, does it make any difference if you want to measure the Young modulus of this composite in any directions? So guys, you want to have a clear answer for these two questions, keep watching this short video then. Hi there, hope you're doing well. Today, we want to drive the Young modulus of fiber composite which is loaded in the transverse direction. I have already drive it for the longitudinal direction. Over here, you can find it. So, what is the transverse direction? If the applied load is perpendicular to the direction of the aligned fibers, then it's called transverse direction. Okay, all right, let's get into it. We have applied, as you can see, the force F, so this force will make equal stress on the whole composite, fibers and matrix. So we can write down This is the stress of whole composite, this one is the stress related to the fiber and this one to the matrix. On the other hand, the deformation on composite resulting from the stress shows itself partially on fibers and partially on matrix. Therefore, we could write down a deformation of the whole composite equals the deformation of fibers plus the deformation of the matrix. Now, we know that the strain in this direction equals deformation over the initial thickness. As a result, deformation equals strain times thickness. So then we could simply substitute the production of strain and thickness for deformation on equation 2. The production of strain and thickness of the whole composite equals the production of the strain and the thickness of the fiber plus the production of the strain and thickness of the matrix okay so we already know that stress equals young modulus times strain based on Hooke's law for stress strain therefore strain equals stress over the young modulus so we can substitute the stress over young modulus for the strain in equation 3 As we already know, according to equation 1, stresses on composite, fibers, and matrix are equal. Consequently, they cancel each other out in equation 4. We divide the whole equation 4 by the thicknesses of the whole composite. So then we have... Now, we have to define a term here, phi, which shows the ratio of the thickness of fiber over the thickness of the whole composite. We can write down the same thing for the matrix as well, the thickness of matrix over the thickness of whole composite equals the thickness of whole composite minus the thickness of fiber, and this equals 1 minus phi. So, 
Now we put the defined phi and one minus phi, let's say in equation five, then we have This is the Young modulus of the composite when loaded in the transverse direction. Also, we can express it like this. This is the young modulus of the composite, young modulus of fiber, young modulus of the matrix, and phi is the ratio of the thickness of fiber over the thickness of the composite. So I've tried to collect all the given information or let's say this variation in one single sheet. Please take a look at it briefly and then come back please here because I want to tell you a nice summary to make sure that you're not gonna miss something, okay? Okay, as the summary I would say, normally the young modulus of the fiber is much higher than the young modulus of the matrix because the fiber is supposed to tolerate the load mostly. A fiber composite material is not an isotropic material. It means the mechanical properties of it depends on the direction of measuring. Transverse direction means if the load is perpendicular to the aligned fibers. The young modulus of a fiber composite material in the transverse direction could be calculated with this equation. So thanks for your watching, please subscribe for more mechanical lectures, bye!